I, I could easily have just done a regular omega-3, but what I found during my research, and this is going back about six years ago now, is I ran across a body of literature that was in the, um, the optometry journals. And you're probably wondering what the heck does an optometry journal have to do with the brain? Well, it turns out the, the eye is basically the brain. The brain is, you know, a, a protrusion coming out of your skull we call the orbit or the eye. And I pulled out this book because this is John Dowling. John Dowling is one of the preeminent Harvard researchers in the world on the retina. And here's his book right here. And it says the retina. This is what medical students will read. And it, but that's all they say It's the retina, John Dowling's book, the retina. But if you look at the bottom there, it's the approachable part of the brain. Mm -hmm. And so what he was trying to explain in his book is this is the way to look at the brain. And so I started looking at the research and I found that the optometry research was really interested in fatty acids and and they were starting to show um, signs that you could pick up in the eye that related to the brain related to omega-3s. So I went in and started looking at how I would put together a formula to actually improve the um, functionality of the omega-3. Um, and also, and it was all based on the research that was coming out of Tufts, Harvard, OHSU, a bunch of bunch of prestigious um, institutions that were all showing this this amazing, and they're still advancing this this research at a great, at, at quite a high velocity right now. And what I found was <clears throat> that they were all looking at DHA because of the brain, right? Ninety percent of the fatty acids in the brain are um, DHA, uh, the N3 type. But what they, most people don't know is DHA, um, sits alongside or co-localizes. This is the term they use in the research. It co-localizes, meaning it sits right next to a substance called lutein. Now, most of your audience probably knows about lutein because of the eye and how it can impact a thing called age-related macular degeneration. Now, I just told you that the brain is part of, or the eye is part of the brain, and the leading cause of blindness right now is age-related macular degeneration. And that's primarily caused, one of the major reasons it's caused is aging, for sure, but the other is exposure to blue light. Now, we're looking at a screen right now and that blue light is oxidizing the photoreceptors in the back of your eye called the macula, and it's denaturing that, that, that receptor and it's causing damage. And you can actually see that this is impacting the brain as well. So when I started, I'll get back to the storyline here, but when I started developing the, the um, formulation for Brain Omega, I knew that I had to have both DHA and lutein together in order for lutein to protect DHA from oxidation. And that's what it does. So this long DHA is the longest fatty acid in the human body. It's, it's this huge long fatty acid that's easily oxidized. Now your brain is sitting up there doing, you know, all this work and it's consuming 25 to 30 percent of all your energy at rest, meaning that there's a lot of metabolic activity. Whenever you have a lot of metabolic activity, you have a lot of free radical activity. That free radical activity, the first thing it does is it oxidizes what's next to it. That's the fatty acids. And if you do not have lutein with DHA, you're going to oxidize the most important fatty acid in your brain, DHA. And this causes you to start to see shrinkage in the brain. You can see there's a, when you look at the research, the lower the concentration of DHA we have in our brains, the smaller our brains get. And the area that suffers the most is the hippocampus. And the hippocampus is where we form long-term memories and maintain consolidation of memory and are able to recall things and have word fluency and have the ability to think and remember and, and enjoy our lives and to be who we are based on the memories that we've consolidated within the hippocampus. And as we lose the hippocampus volume, it's a marker for brain degeneration. 
And so that's why I came up with this, this particular formulation. It's all based on some just astounding research that has come out of all these major institutions.